Okay, I want to give all praises unto the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, the one true God, the Most High God of Israel, by Hashem. It's how you say it in the name of Yahweh Shai. It's how you say the true name of who many know as Jesus Christ, but His true name in the Hebrew, it is Yahweh Shai. So that is how you say their true names in the Paleo Hebrew, which is the ancient Hebrew, which is the the Lashuan Kodash, also known as the Holy Tongue, okay? And also Shalom, that means peace unto the 12 tribes of Israel, who are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the natives, right? To the elect, we say Shalom. Um, and I want to do a quick little video, all right? Really touching on prayer, all right? Prayer and how prayer is important, but more so, there's a there's a, a there's a factor that you have to consider when you pray. There's an element that you have to add when you pray, and again, that's faith that's going into you have to pray with faith, right? Because if you are not praying with that faith, if you're not praying with confidence, all right, if you're not believing in what you're actually asking for, well, you're not gonna actually get your prayers heard. So that's why. You know, you have to actually understand that, hey, when you're praying, you're literally praying to the Heavenly Father. All right. This is the heaven. This is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And he's able to do all things. OK, above that, which you even believe. So you have to realize that when you get in your when you get in the, uh, uh, your, 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 your spot where you pray or right? you get on your knees, you prostrate your head to the earth. OK. Well, at the end of the day, you got to realize that, look, you're tapping into your power source. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that is your power source. Okay? That's where you go to renew your strength. You go to the Most High God and His Son to actually pray to renew your spirit. All right? So that's that's really that's really where you get your uh, your your endurance and your strength is when you go up to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and you ask and you pray, but in faith. All right, so there's no there's no wavering. You gotta pray with confidence. That's the whole point of this. You see, um, I want to get real quick the first precept. All right, Mark eleven and twenty five. Okay, showing you the importance of this. And Yahweh Shai, this is Mark eleven and actually twenty two. Yahweh Shai answering saith unto them, Have faith in the Most High, for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed. And be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe in though that those things which he shall saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. See? So Yahweh, Yahweh Shai says that we have to have faith in the Most High. It even goes to the point where if you if you have enough faith, you can tell a mountain to be cast into the sea, and it can happen. But you have got to have no doubt in your heart, and ultimately that's the faith that you already have within you. But that faith, you can only tap into it by by uh, by continually continually asking the Lord to increase your faith, because the apostles always ask the Lord to increase their faith. So. Ultimately, the elect are going to get to the point to where they're going to be able to move mountains. They're going to get to the point to where they're going to have true spiritual power. But it starts on this side. OK, building yourself up. OK, you got to look at this this time period, like as a training pr uh, process, you're training yourself up to be able to have confidence when you truly call upon Yahweh, especially in the day of trouble. What we're doing now when we pray, we're, 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 we're building up our faith in the Lord, we're, we're, we're praying, and as we see the Lord actually truly answering our prayers, we know the Lord is actually hearing us. So in the days of trouble, we have no doubt, and we're actually able to call on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and they're going to deliver us, all right? It's going to get to the point to where you're going to believe that you can, you can move mountains. You're going to believe that you can do supernatural abilities, but that's going to be the faith that you have built up. So... 24 says therefore i say unto you what things soever you desire when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them so 
Whatever things that you desire when you pray, you have to believe in it. And you're going to get it. He said that. He just he said it. And you got to believe in the words of Yahweh Shah. Because his words are true. All right. So whatever you want to pray for, man. All right. And again, it's not for carnality. Your mindset shouldn't be carnal when you pray. You shouldn't be trying to ask for all right, 200, 000, a million dollars to win the lottery. Or you're trying to get a million dollar house. Nah. What you should first and foremost be praying for is spiritual things, spiritual gifts. All right. How to become a better servant to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So these are the things that you got to pray for. And as you pray for them, you're going to get them. And again, man, look, you can pray for if you need if you need things like, you know, you need you actually need help. You actually need the Lord to, OK, provide certain things. There's nothing wrong with asking Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to, OK, provide, you know. Because he will. You see, even uh, Solomon, he even prayed that. This is uh, real quick. All right, this is Book of Proverbs, okay, chapter all right, 30 and 8. It says, this is what Solomon said. 7, two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be fooled and deny thee and say, what is the Lord? Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my power in vain. So even Solomon, he even prayed that the Most High would not give him okay, either like riches or poverty. Only that which is going to be convenient for him. So you got to ask the Lord that he only bring to you that which is sufficient. That which is going to okay get you what you need to have. Because this captivity... You got to realize we don't need all the riches. We don't need million dollar houses. We don't need, okay, multi, we don't need multi-million dollar cars. We don't need all that stuff, man, the fancy high life. That's not what you need here because you're going to get full. Okay, you're going to end up, okay, denying the Lord. You're going to end up, all right, falling away with the cares of the life. So we don't need that. Neither do we need poverty. You don't want to get to the point to where you don't have a damn thing. You're homeless. Okay, because at that point, you're going to break commandments. You're going to steal all right, you're going to lie. You're going to take the name of Yahweh in vain. So, no. Solomon asked the Most High God of Israel that he would only give him that which is going to suffy him, that which is going to uphold him. That's all we truly need in this in this life. You see? Let's actually get this. Um, I believe it's going to be the book of Matthew. All right. Let's get this. Matthew chapter 6. And I right. Uh, let's actually go here. This is 31. Take no thought, therefore, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what with all shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father know that you need you have need of them, these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So at the end of the day, you got to realize that Yahweh is going to take care of his servants. He's going to take care of you. So you're not to seek after the carnal, the carnal things, because the Gentiles, if they ever pray, they'll pray for, oh, let me get a, make sure, I, I pray that my business succeeds. I pray that, um, you know, I pray that I can, I can, uh, I can have all these, these assets. I pray that you can help me, okay, get all this gold and silver. And they'll probably pray for a lot of these carnal things, which it, you know, at the end of the day, there's certain things you could pray for, but you got to understand that, look, first and foremost, the point is, seek first the kingdom of the Most High. And then all these things are added unto you. So the Lord knows that you need to pay your rent. The Lord knows that you have card payments or whatever. He knows that you got to feed your family. He knows all these things. All right? So he's going to already add that to you, but you first and foremost got to seek the kingdom. So you got to seek wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You got to seek, all right, how you can get delivered. All right? You got to seek... How you can get yourself right with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because that's more so what's going to be pleasing. And everything else is going to be added, man. You know? So I want to get Ephesians. Alright, chapter 3. And uh, 20. It says. Let's get this. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that. Above all that. We ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. So that's the, th the point. That Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are able to do 
exceedingly, abundantly, above all that which you can even ask or even think. All right. So whatever you even like, whatever you what even comes into your mind, the most High and his son are able to do so much more. You know, they created the whole heavens and earth. So what do you think? They're not limited. All right. So you can you, you got to ask and the Lord's going to do it. If you want to ask the most high God for uh for more faith. Right. You want to ask Yahweh to give you faith that is a hundredfold. OK, meaning you got a hundred times more faith than you had prior. You got to ask the most high that he do it for you, you know, because he's able to do so much more than you can even think. All right. You want to ask Yahweh to give you the spirit of um to be like a prophet. Right. Hey, ask, man. And the Lord says he's going to actually provide it because he's able to make you to, OK, do so much more than even that. OK, he can give you a double portion of um of a prophet like Elisha. That's a good example when he asked for a double portion of Elijah's spirit. And because he actually believed it was granted to him. So you can be asking for double portions of prophets <laughs> and you got to believe, though, you know. You can't be like, ah, hell, ah, nah, that's that's too much. You know, I'm not, I don't think I'm a, I'm a nobody. Nah, you can't think that way because then the day it's not going to happen. Or if you if you think in that manner, right? Let me get this. Uh, this is James. That's <coughs> a lot. James chapter um, 1 and 5. It says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not and it shall be given him all right so it says if anybody lack wisdom all right if you seem to find yourself all right not not being able to um you know understand these scriptures as you should or well, then you should ask Yahweh, man and he's going to give you more with he's going to give it to you liberally he's not even going to upbraid me he's not going to hold back all right he's going to give it to you because that's that's what's pleasing to him solomon what Solomon asked for, Solomon didn't, Solomon didn't ask for riches. He didn't ask for anything. But the one thing he did ask for was wisdom so that he might be able to, you know, judge the people so that he would actually do what Yahweh needed him to do. And that was pleasing to Yahweh. Yahweh actually was well pleased with that, that request. So how much more you? If you ask for wisdom, don't think the Lord's going to be all right, he's going to be stuck up, you know, and, and hold it back, you know, be like, nah, I you know, I ain't giving this man nothing. No, if you ask for wisdom, that's actually something very, very, very pleasing to hear. And the Lord's going to give it to you. You just got to you got to pray that. But this is verse six. It's a point. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. But let not that man think that he shall receive anything of Yahweh. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. See? So it just said, like, look, if if you got to ask, but nothing wavering. So if you're a man out here wavering, okay, you ask the Most High to increase your faith 10 times more than you have now. But you're kind of like, you're kind of wavering on that. Like, I don't think that's going to be possible. Well, don't even ask. Because the Lord, don't, he said, don't even think you're going to receive it. If you wanna, if you wanna have a, a better spirit, like you want the Lord to give you a, a, a spirit of discernment, you want Yahweh to give you the spirit of the gift of healing, you want the Most High to give you the spiff, a gift of, of speaking tongues or something. Uh, you want the gifts, you know. You well, you gotta ask Yahweh, man, and you can't waver. You can't think twice. You can't ask for a double portion of somebody's spirit and then think that you might not get it, because you won't at the end of the day. So you gotta ask in faith. Because didn't we ought to read that he was able to do uh, uh, exceedingly, abundantly, according to what we even ask or even think, you know? So that's that's the mindset that you got to be in, man, that he can do so much more than you can even believe. All right, this is going to be Hebrews chapter 11 uh, and verses 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God, the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so without faith man it's impossible to please Yahweh. so if you're going up there faithless you're faint-hearted all right you're kind of you're, you're double-minded you know 
when you pray, you're like, you, you're always, you're always kind of like going to and fro. You know, you're one moment, you're saying one thing, you're asking the Lord, like, can I, for this thing? And then you're like, oh, no, 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 no. You're like, take that back. Actually scratch that, Yahweh. Don't even, don't consider that. Actually, I want this. You're like, no, no, not that. I want, I actually want this. And then you stop praying and you're kind of, you're scared and you know, you don't know whether you ask for too much or, you know, at that point, the Lord's just going to be like, nah, just, just get this man's prayer up out of here, man. As a matter of fact, the angel who's recording your prayer, he won't even bring it up to the Most High. Because you got to figure out the angels record your prayers. And if they see your prayer is just everywhere, that you're like, you literally don't even know what you're trying to ask for. Uh, you're, too, you're double minded, you're faint hearted, you're wavering. All right. Well, at that point, that you're not going to, it's not going to reach you. Howard. So you, without faith, it's impossible to please him. All right. All right. You got to actually believe that this is the power, man, that's going to get you what you need. All right. It's just him and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you got to you got to believe that the most high is a rewarder for them that diligently seek him. If you are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, if you have literally made the most high your refuge, your habitation, meaning that you 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 lost your life, you literally put away all the worldly carnal things and you're actually taking steps to uh to actually becoming spiritual. You know, you're actually praying for for the spirit of discipline, you know, so that you can have discipline. You're praying that the Most High I, scores your thoughts, so that your thoughts are not just all off in vanity, you know. You're praying that the Most High allow you to uh, allow him to make you fear you, uh, slot. You're praying the Most High uh, allow you to fear him more, right? That's a prayer you should pray, that the Most High put more fear into you, because without the fear of the Lord, you're not going to endure all right, you're asking the Most High to make you to be a better servant. All right, that's the things that you're asking. You're literally asking the Yahweh to, all right, make you to pretty much be a better servant to Him. You're not asking for carnal, selfish things. You're literally praying that Yahweh only give you that which you need, that which is sufficient. All right, so you don't think the Most High is going to be well pleased with somebody who's diligently trying to please Him, somebody who's diligently trying to. I be the most faithful servant they can be. If you're asking for like these type of things, it's better than what many people in the world are asking for. Many people in the world, they only care about themselves. They don't care about pleasing the Lord. All right? They don't ever try to discipline themselves. They don't never fast. All right? They don't pray. They don't read. But you are taking all these steps and you're praying at how it will increase you. You're praying at how it will pretty much, all right? give you wisdom and knowledge that's something pleasing and you gotta you gotta pretty much believe that yahweh is a rewarder okay he rewards those who actually diligently seek him all right so if you're actually doing these things you're you're taking steps to uh, depart from this world and become a true servant well hey man the most high is going to hear you for sure all right and that's the, that's the that's the mindset that you got to be in uh let me get this in james chapter 5 and 16 <laughs> It says, all right, confess your faults, okay? It says, uh, confess your faults one to another. Pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. See? So it says, confess your faults to one another. So, and pray for one another that you may be healed. And that's, that's the thing, too. You do got to confess your faults, right? You do got to, you know, sometimes you, you may need to talk to people. And let them know that you know you is you know you need help and things of this sort. And you gotta pray for people, man. You can't just always be praying for yourself. You gotta pray for the nation. You gotta pray for brothers. All right. You gotta pray, man, for everybody. All right. Your prayers gotta be okay, well rounded. It says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elias, which is Elijah, was a man subject to like passions are as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again. And the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit. See? So look, Elijah, he was a man subject to like passions like we. He was like us. But he prayed earnestly that it rained not. So Elijah literally prayed that the Most High had it not rained for three years. And since he, the, Elijah believed that, he actually had power to shut up the heavens 
and it didn't rain for three years. And then he prayed again that the heavens give it, that the heavens opened, and then it started to rain. So, hey, that's the type of power that you got. You type of, you got the type of power to call fire down from heaven like Elijah did. You have the power to be able to split open the sea like Moses did, man. Because why? Because your power source is Yahweh. But you have to actually tap into it. You got to believe. And it starts now by building up. So, Elijah, it said that he earnestly. It didn't, it didn't mean that he prayed once and he just gave up. He prayed one time and then... It didn't happen, and he just like, ah, it's not going to happen. Forget it. No, he earnestly, meaning he he, he repeatedly prayed the prayer. So you got to realize that, yeah, man, don't think that all things are just going to come like like with a, with a snap of a finger. Patience is key, man. Patience is virtue. And trusting in Yahweh that he's going to hear you, but you got to be patient. The Lord's not just going to always just be, okay? It's not going to be a snap of a finger like that. That's not how the Lord works. The Most High is going to try you. To see whether you truly do believe. So you got to keep putting in them prayers. If you want, okay, someone to come into the truth. If you earnestly want your brother or your sister to come in. Well, you got to earnestly pray for them, man. Keep them in your prayers. You see? You want to you wanna pray for the spirit of discernment. You got to continually put that prayer in, man. Continually put that in, man. You want a spirit of a prophet. Uh, you want the spirit of um of wisdom. Uh, you want to fear Yahweh more. Right, you want whatever you need, you know, whatever you're going to need, man. You got to earnestly keep on putting that prayer up, throwing that up to Yahweh. And ultimately, the Most High is going to hear that thing. See? So that's ultimately, like, how this whole thing works. You know, let me get this in Syrac. Uh, uh, actually, I want to get this in Matthew 7 and 7. It says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened. Unto you, for everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh shall be opened. Or what man is there of you whom, if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good gifts to them that ask him? Therefore, all things, whatever you would, that men do unto you, do you so unto them. For this is the law and the prophets. So Yahweh Shai, all he preached was faith. Man. He he told you that, look, if you actually knock, it's going to be open. If you if you ask, you're going to receive. He said, hey, what man, if uh, his son asked him for some bread, would you give your son a stone? Or if your son asked for fish, are you going to give him like a serpent? No. You see, that's that's evil. So the Lord is the same way with us. If we ask Yahweh for bread, which is, you know, really the spiritual bread, we ask for more understanding, more knowledge. All right, we ask for spiritual gifts. You don't think the Most High is going to give us that which we actually ask for? All right. So that's 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 ultimately what you got to have in your mind is that true faith, right? This is going to be Syrac, and you got to go back to um, our forefathers when they when they asked, man. They were all. Okay, written for our learning. This is Syriac chapter 2 and 3. Now I want to go to 6. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Yea, that fear Yahweh, wait for his mercy. Go not aside lest you fall. You that fear Yahweh, believe him and he will reward and your reward shall not fail. You that fear Yahweh, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did any ever trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? See? So we got to consider that our, our, our fathers, our forefathers, they all were like us. They all, okay, earnestly was praying to Yahweh, man, Daniel, okay, in the lion's den, Daniel. When he was praying to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay, for the forgiveness of his people, okay? David, who called upon the Lord and prayed to the Lord, and the Lord heard him. It even came to the point to where David prayed, all right, uh, he prayed to Yahweh. Let me get that. And Yahweh actually sent a chariot to come to David, you see? So you can actually pray these prayers, and the Lord can send you chariots. 
See, but this is, we got to get on this level, though. We're going at to, a, at a point, Lord willing, we're going to get there, man. All right? This is going to be Psalms 18 and 3. I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death come past me. The floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell come past me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon Yahweh and cried unto my power. He heard my voice out of his temple. My cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The fountains also of the hills were moved and were shaken because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. The coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down. Darkness was under his feet. He rode upon a cherub. Yea, he did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness a secret place, and pavilions round about him were dark waters and thick, thick clouds of the sky. So, that is talking about a chariot. The Lord sent a, a cherub, okay, that flew. That was really just talking about a cherub. He, he sent thick clouds. So, David was surrounded by enemies, okay, and he called upon Yahweh, and Yahweh beamed him up into a chariot, even when things was looking tough, even when he probably wouldn't have been able to get out of it. The Lord saved him. So you got to get to that point to where hey, you can call upon your how he's going to, you're going to believe it too. You got to believe the Lord is going to get you, man. All right. That's the whole point. You have to have that faith. You have to have confidence. All right. Because if you're double minded and hey, the Lord's not going to hear that, man. So um, that that's pretty much all I want to kind of bring out right now. Lord willing, you know, this was edifying. Hopefully this, uh, you know, if this is something that you needed to add to yourself, an element that you needed, something that you needed to hear, Lord willing, you know, it was it was edifying. But to the next time, I do say shall.